All right, so that is just the beginning of the intro to fielding. Now, I want a show of hands. If you've never played for us, because if you've played for us, you've heard this before. How many of you that have not played for us have been told to field the ball over your left eye? How many of you have been told to field the ball right left field? How many of you have been told to time up your left foot to the catch? How many of you have been told when you field the ball to bring it to the center of your chest? All right, so some of you have heard it before. But I don't believe that everybody has heard it. <laughs> because if everybody has heard it, then why are so few guys doing it? Hold on. Does that make sense? If everybody has heard that stuff. <laughs> Lane, I believe Lane, because he's doing all of it. I believe Lane. I believe some of you. But a lot of you, if you were taught it, you're, you have not perfected it yet. So, we are going to practice our footwork right now. This is what I want everybody to do. You're gonna get into a, just a fielding stance, we're not even gonna use our gloves. You're gonna put your hands out front like you're gonna field the ball. Everyone got me? You are gonna clap your hands together. That signifies you just caught the ball. Hold on, not right, not right, not right, not right. Ready? When you clap, you are gonna bring your hands to the center of your chest with your elbows out, your right foot's gonna go to your left, and your left foot is gonna go, pretend there's a box right here. Can everyone do that? You're gonna envision there's a box. You're gonna go like this. And you're just gonna work your way around the box. So we're working on hands out front. I want this hand out front, but I want your hand down. I want this hand up and just off center. Not like this, right? Because that's what a lot of guys are doing. So you're like this. When you bring the ball, remember, bring it to the middle. Not up here, not down here. My footwork, right to left, left to target. Everyone see this? Watch my footwork. This is, my footwork doesn't do this. Right, like I'm not gonna feel. I'm not gonna do that. Everyone get that? Okay, that's what a lot of guys are doing. You're just taking your feet, and just moving them around the box like this. Look at here. Your right foot is going to come to your left and pretend that it's going to kick your left foot out of the way. Now, you're not going to actually kick it, but it's going to move to your right. Your, your right's going to move to your left. And then right before it gets there, your left foot moves. Everyone see this? Real quick, don't even use your hands. Everyone get in position. Lefties do the opposite. Make your right foot come to your left. Your left foot, kick your right foot out of the way. Work around the ball. Around the ball. Around the ball. Good. Good. Just feet. Good. Go ahead. Around the box. Around the box. Around the box. Good. 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 Oh, like you're in that same box, but now put your foot up like we just did in that drill. Put your hands out front. Everyone see how I'm doing that? You're going to go around the box. Notice that I bring it up and then I get ready to throw. All right, then put your left heel on the ground, the left toe up. Don't rush around it, then go back down and center. Moby's just demonstrating every drill to a T. Good, Moby. Yeah, get your hand down on the ground like Moby's doing. Good. Nice. Hand down on the ground. Good. Good. Bring it up. Good, play low, get down to the glove. Here's a catcher. Not bad for a catcher. Couple catchers. We keep talking about presenting the glove. I'm gonna keep it very simple. There's two eyes in your glove. I'm trying to show the eyes to the ball. I keep, if I'm like this, and I'm holding my glove as I'm setting up, can the eye see the ball? Yeah. No, so then I have to flash late. If I have to flash late, 
and a guy hits a rocket and I'm used to doing this all the time, I'm not gonna open up in time, okay? I wanna present early. Adam said it to me when we were over there. Think about your barrel of the bat. We're trying to get our barrel into the hitting zone, correct? The longer we can keep it in the hitting zone, the better chance we have of doing what? Hitting the ball, exactly. Think about your glove the same way. If I'm in the hitting zone, by opening it up, that ball has to come in my glove. If I'm like this, and I do this at the last second, that's like a hitter being in and out of the hitting zone. You're not giving yourself a chance. So if you could, what's the easiest way to hit a ball? Bunt it, because I just put my bat in the hitting zone and I keep it there. But we can't bunt all the time, obviously, we can't hit a far enough. As a fielder, like, I can get my glove down early. Now, obviously, we want to get moving into the ball. I can't be sitting like this when the ball's way out there, but I can't be late. So, eyes to the ball, fingers down, this way. All right, it's not 6 and 12, it's a little bit off center, just slightly off center for righty. Lefties go the other way. A couple guys, you're this way. Where's the ball going to go? You're going to field it off with this pinky finger. If I take my glove off, where do I want to field the ball? Where do you think? So I draw our circle right about here. I say right off like the base of my index finger, just off the base. That's going to put it right there in the glove, right? I'm not trying to catch it in the webbing because then I can't deflect the ball easy. I'm trying to get it right there, which is somewhere again, if this is the bullseye right there, that's where I'm trying to get the ball, okay? So I have to expose that to the ball early if I want it to hit. So that right there was an hour and 15 of just mechanical infield stuff. And that's like just the beginning of it. So infield work has to be like really detailed, focusing on the mechanics. How many people talk about hitting mechanics all the time? Yeah, lots of people, right? How many people talk about fielding mechanics? As many that uh, talk about hitting? No, not even close, exactly. Most guys think infield is just like go out and have a ball hit at you and just run and catch it, which you have to do, but you have to do it right. This is where you start to learn those movements. Some of you guys are nine years old. We have an eight-year-old here? We got an eight-year-old here, exactly. So we're starting at eight years old, starting to learn stuff that I didn't personally learn until I was probably 21. So you got a big advantage on me. Yeah, and the nine-year-olds and the ten-year-olds, like you guys are learning stuff at a younger, a way younger age than I ever did or what you did. He's not that old. Cool. So you got to pay attention, listen, and then what do you do when you go home? You can practice it. You can do those drills in your room. You go down in the basement in the garage. You can go find a ball and just throw a racquetball off it and practice that. Okay? Because that's the way you get really, really, really good. One last thing, Alexander, when you went down and played like Texas and Florida and those guys, those guys pretty good? I know they also were 100 pounds heavier than you, right? Yeah. But why are those guys really good? Because they can go outside all the time and practice, yeah. It's 20 degrees outside right now. It's hard to do, but you can go inside and practice, right? So you've got to try to practice as much as a guy from Texas is practicing, which is hard here, but you can do it indoors.